Welcome to the Live with Lee and Haley show. Haley Harmon is not here today. Tom Ackerman is filling in for Haley. Haley, again, uh, needed the day off because it's exhaustive. I've never seen anybody work as hard as Haley Harmon does. She make it across the state line yet? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what she's doing. No. But, it's, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's strenuous to do as much talking as she does. Okay, that's what you're getting at. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm getting at. I, you might rival her, though. I don't I mean, know you're, about you're that. a little bit of a chatterbox mm. compared to me. Well, everybody is compared to you. <laughs> it's like Gary Cooper over here. <laughs> so, um, before we do hot topics, we'll let you know Mother's Day, of course, is coming up. And, now, and, and Tom and I are going to be uh, giving you some ideas on what you should get mom. But how does that Could, work? Because we're a great source that's right, for that. Yeah. Yeah. They come to us. <laughs> how does that work at your place? Because with the girls, they don't have full-time jobs yet. So are you in charge of that? What happens? Well, we already kind of took care of that. Uh, for mom. Mm -hmm. We uh, did a, a big spree at uh, Home Depot last weekend and, you know, got just a ton of plants. She likes plants. So okay. that's already taken care of. I like the way the, you the, work. The, you made this seem like it was her idea mm -hmm. that you get to go to Home Depot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, hey, it works out. I got to look at the power tools, yeah. too. I didn't get to buy anything, but at least yeah. got to look. Window shopping. So that's good. So it's already taken care of. Yeah. So Sunday yeah. for you guys will just be a normal day then? Or? Well, I think I'm still going to have to do something. So that, that, that's the problem. Yeah. So maybe, maybe a little short-term uh, right. you know, emergency the, run somewhere. That's the thing with men. If you talk to any of them, the rules mm -hmm. are never really clear for us because no. they always change. And I've been married for a very long time, and I still you don't know, know them. Yeah. You know, you just kind of you kind of play it by ear. Now, here's a couple ideas we want to show you. Give me the Swiss diamond yeah. thing you got there. Swiss uh, Josh. diamond. Look at this. Really? This is an idea. It's a Swiss diamond <laughs> saucepan with lid. And this thing has an ergonomic stay cool handle. Is even oven safe. You can log on to SwissDiamond.com to order one. So that's a pretty good deal. Are there diamonds right? in it? And there must be. It says that's a strong look, selling point. Look at that right there. Uh -huh. Like embedded in the handle or something? Or? Yeah. Looks good. You can check out their other cookware, too. So go to Swiss Diamond. Mom will love it. Cool. Okay. okay. And then we've got something else that's a little unusual, but for expectant moms, Jesse's here to uh, <laughs> show us how this works. Uh, this is called the Nursey. It provides comfortable positioning for baby and mom while nursing. Now, Jesse will demonstrate. How does this work, Jesse? So what you got to do is you take the pillow out. Mm -hmm. You sound like an expert. And you put it on your arm, uh -huh. and then you could cradle hold your baby with yeah. a little head, you know. Oh. Or you could football hold the baby and rest your arm, you know. Or Heisman. Hold it like a football. <laughs> Don't <know>. Heisman it. <laughs> and then you, the Heisman. Uh huh. And then there's also like it's just a pillow. Okay, so you know, you maybe I could just a use a water wing, you know. Same, it looks like concept, it, it does look like a water <laughs> wing, doesn't it? Or or a hand warmer. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Yeah, or if you're playing football, you attach this to your belt. And <laughs> there you go. Keep the hands warm it's, if you're a quarterback. If you're throwing. All right, Jesse. All right. Thank well, you. Cool. So again, uh, you can purchase one for a Mother's Day gift at Target. Also, mm -hmm. Amazon has it. Or go to their website, uh, Lands No. I don't know how you say that. Lanzano. Lanzano. dot com. L a n s i n o h. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, there's Check a couple ideas for you, from me and Tom to you. <laughs> you're welcome. You, do you mothers? Are right, you ready for some hot topics? Let's do hot topics. Okay. Hot topics. Well, a sex education expert has sparked online debate on sexual consent. This is just dumb. Argues that parents should ask. Set it should, up. Should, please. Listen Set to it this. Up. What's stupid? <laughs> Argues that parents should ask children for permission before changing their diapers. Wow, okay. Yeah, Deanne Carson works for an organization which teaches children about consent that appeared on Australia's ABC uh, new network, uh, news network. Carson says parents should teach their kids about consent as early as possible. She says the baby isn't going to respond because it doesn't have language skills yet, but leave some space <laughs> and wait for body language. Excuse me, if the diaper's dirty, we're not going to suffer until I get some quarter nod or wink. Anyway, it's... Yeah, that's true. I the mean, haircut tells you everything you need to know. I went through two rounds of diaper changing, and you just got to get the job. You got to get in there, and you got to get it done. You don't have time to be messing around. Work on the consent, you know, with other matters when they're a little bit older. That's, yeah. Told you it was I'm with, dumb. I'm with you on that one. Okay. Uh, well, uh, but if you leave a space and wait for body language and wait to make eye contact, then you're letting that child know that their response matters. How young are some of these? Yeah, well, everybody's 
pretty much knows what time it is, and this lady's crazy. Okay, we got you. All right, let's move on to a fish. Yeah, nuts. This fish is uh, interesting because, and I've seen this before. It has, oh. it has human-like <laughs> teeth. Look at those choppers uh, making the rounds on the internet. This was posted on the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources, and uh, according to the biologist who took the picture, this is a saltwater fish, uh -huh. also known as the convict fish because of its black and white stripes. It has human-like teeth, incisors, and molars, and it's used to help crush food like shrimp and oysters, and it's. Uh, it's got a handsome grin there. That thing at one time had a retainer. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, really. Mm -hmm. If more fish had access to a quality orthodontist, this would be much more common. <laughs> that's a good looking. I mean, that's a good looking grill that fish has maybe got. Maybe we should start some kind it. of campaign. Yeah, could probably pucker up and give you a kiss <laughs> while you're under the sea. Uh, Town and Country Magazine is apologizing after Monica Lewinsky says she was disinvited from an event after former President Bill Clinton oh, decided no. to attend. So Lewinsky is the, of course, we know, former White House intern who was involved in a sexual relationship with Bill. The magazine invited then later rescinded the invitation to their annual philanth uh, philanthropic summit that happened on Wednesday. Lewinsky tweeted saying, Dear world, please don't invite me to an, an event. Yeah. That's and especially one about social change. And then after I've accepted, uninvite me because Bill Clinton then decided to attend <laughs> or was invited. It's 2018. That's the, that's, the, that's the definition of awkward right there. Yeah, I get that he's the bigger get for the party. But, but you can't. In a world that if you're trying to, especially if it's about social change, oh, yeah. and you're trying to show some sort of integrity or standard, why would you fair, disinvite her? Bad she was the victim there, mm -hmm. if we're going to qualify it that way. Yeah. Maybe she wasn't, but Just a bad she was an intern. Altogether. Um, hey, let's move on from that one. Uh, you don't want to dwell on that one? <laughs> no, I don't. Okay. Uh, this golfer tries to take a swing near a tree. Don't ever. This oh, is stupid. Oh, no, don't. Yep, that's okay. what happens. I thought it was going somewhere else, no. so that's not that bad. Uh, the ball ends up knocking the friend's camera out, because usually, if you've watched enough yeah. America's Funniest Home Videos, <laughs> yeah. you know where that shot's going. Uh, so, I wham. Play, yeah, listen, I play. Well, some of my buddies are pretty good. Some of them are like this guy. That's so ill advised. But even you the guys who the teeth. are good, yeah. you get away from that. Mm -hmm. They're trying to pull off some stupid yeah. shot like that. I'm guessing there have been a few visits to the beer cart before he took that shot. Well, yeah. That's a horrible grip, anyway. That guy's not a real <laughs> golfer. Why would you stand there? Let, check this video out. These are two male marmots. They duped it out over a female marmot in northwest China. The video is pretty entertaining. Here they go. No! <laughs> Pow! And they started a fight in the middle of the road. That, this is like there, Paul McCartney serious, and Michael Jackson. Going on the here. girl is mine, they're saying. There's no clear winner. The two giant squirrels, I guess we could call them, rush off after hearing vehicles approach. But uh, just the punches and the... Look at that. It's a it's toe to toe. It's that's, a heavyweight fight right there. That's oh, not boy. a nice marmot. Now there they go. No, and they're gone. That's what the women do. I saw a few of those when I was out west last summer. They don't usually fight like that. They just hide in the rocks and look at you. Oh, well, you Yellow belly. Apparently, marmots. you haven't met that girl no, that got them all. That was, that, was, that was pretty aggressive. <laughs> she must have been a keeper. That yeah, must have been. <laughs> Papa John's, and uh, this is huge. Yeah, have you this heard is. this? Mm -hmm. They're announcing they're going to make some garlic lovers' dreams come true. They're going to sell the addictive garlic sauce by the jugful. You know those little tiny uh, cartons oh, that you get? I love this you stuff. You peel the top off and dip your pizza in it. Well, oh. apparently, you can go to papajohns. Does that say Fuji.com? I think it does. Okay, F O O J I.com. Fuji. It's a know. great band. It Remember sound the Fuji? like garlic sauce. The Fuji's mm -hmm. were great. Uh, anyway, I'm sure you can Google it and find mm -hmm. it. 20 bucks for a jug. <laughs> it's not just a container. It's about time. It's a jug of Because that stuff, if, especially if you're sharing, people seem to... Yeah, my kids, my kids always and, destroy that before I can even yeah, get to it. Right. So I might mm -hmm. just have to buy a jug of that and put it in the back of the fridge. And, you know, you always have access. Mm -hmm. Anyway, there so you right. go. There's our uh, hot topics. Okay. Good news.